pancakes. Let's take a look inside. Someone in the community has asked for a set of walkthrough and a room walkthrough, so I thought, why not? So, nice wide shot as we're going around. As you can see, as we come through, first thing you see, the first set of shelves. It's got some Funko Pops, some different Mr. Potato Heads. If we do this on this one. Da, da, da. Uh, more Funko Pops going all around. This, this is the complete collection of the Generation 1 Transformers. My, one of my favorite old time TV shows. And we've got Nibbler. And uh, original from the 80s, You're the Talking Bank, uh, which I inherited from my cousin, who's sadly no longer with us, so thank you for that, Jew. We've got uh, Bioshock Big Daddy, the game's not in there, it's just the Big Daddy. And my other love from when I was a child, Power Rangers, all five original Micromorphin Power Rangers Power Coins. And then we're going down, we've got all my action figures. So you can spot, comment below. Which one's your favourite out of the ones you can see here? We've got all sorts. We've got the uh, 80s version of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I really like that they brought those out. Those are really cool figures. And then we've got, we've got BB-8 that's actually a working robot. It runs around and everything, controlling from your phone. Uh, Midas. This is some true board at the back. You can't really see the logo, but it's actually a very tasty, very sweet drink. Actual proper Grey's Sports Almanac from Back to the Future. Put that there. It's got all the statistics and everything. This thing is cool. It is, I don't know if you can see the label there, Mana Potion. I'm not drink it because I'm not a mage. But also we've got Iron Man. We've got the Normandy. Uh, Unicorn Gundam. Groot. Over there, one of my few sideshow collectible things, and a proper glaze, and also me and the wife and the child, and more stuff. So this thing is really cool. This is a model I built myself of my Battlestar Galactica Viper. Built it, painted it myself. Is it the greatest job in the world? No, but I'm quite proud of it. Boys from South Park. This is really cool. We've got Yoda, and inside this box is a little book of Yoda-isms. He's not stuck to that, so I'm not going to move him. And this is my rarest figure. So this is a Giver 1 from the original anime from back in the 90s. Uh, really happy I found that. May have paid through the nose for it, but yeah. I would like to get Giver 2 and 3, but they're so rare. That the price is not good. So I've got some more Legos, I've got TIE Fighters, a little Star Destroyer. My brother in law gave me this wooden scout trooper that he made one time, so he ain't got anywhere for it, so do I want it? So I took it. These are all figures from the Star Wars uh, calendars, which are really cool. I've got a um, Snow speeder, and this is my latest addition to my collection. So, this is Star Wars, uh, the official stamp collection, which is actually pretty cool. My godson's got that for Christmas, which is really nice. Um, and then we've got Wally, Ecto 1, Ghostbusters, Nate ST. This is actually Aftershave or Cologne. Oh, that's oh, in fact, that's an A Wing, that's a snow speeder. This thing here. Um, and we've got the little one, which he did fairy for a day at Disneyland Paris. And the Infinity Gauntlet. So don't mess with me. I've got the Infinity Gauntlet. And um, what have we got? We've got Grogu. Remote control Grogu. It's noisy as hell, but it's really cool. Borg Cube. Again, another inherent ones from my cousin. Uh, along with this tricorder, those micro machines uh, I inherited from my friend. Um, and my favorite car, Mustang. Um, if money was no object, the car I would own is a Mustang. So, I'll go over here, we've got some more. We've got Lego DeLorean in the back, Lego New York Skyline, all the famous NASA women. Um, 
Oh, I didn't realise this guy had fallen down. That is actually Dr. Robotnik, not Eggman, Robotnik. It'll always be Robotnik. That's who he is. Tron Light Cycles. Got this thing, which is actually an old school video game. Let's turn it on. Uh, start. It's all wireframe and everything. Bad guys come in. You can change Optimus Prime into his robot form. This is how video games were when I was really young. And then we've got some Starlink ships. Mass Effect I'm drawing with the um, Nomad. Some Amiibos. Some other Mario bits. This is my comic book collection, graphic novel collection, and a couple of coffee table books. A few more books. And then including the DIY book I never, ever read. Two Star Wars books I've yet to read. And those eagle-eyed among you, you will notice that my book is in there, because I'm that vain. Um, so yeah. And then we got up here, so we got Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow locked in Mortal Kombat as per usual. Skylinks. One of my favourite of the modern generation Transformers figures, really cool. Really massive Scout Trooper. And my two martial arts trophies that I've won. One is for being British Champion. And then when I think it was, I came second in that one. Which is really cool. Then we've got my display case with my Optimus Primes. Ultra Magnus. Scrapper and Jetfire. Unicron. Uh, and um, that is Rodimus Unicronus, uh, the big black guy, and the um, Transformers Red Megatron reformatted, and of course, Master Chief's helmet. Going over here, my pride and joy, my Transformers collection, two shelves. I shudder to think at the amount of money that is displayed on these shelves. Um, yeah, let's not go into that one. So yeah, I've got all them. Comment on any that you like. If you want to see me doing in-depth dive on any of them, just let me know in the comments. Got Baymax. Got this from a Comic Con. So it's all the 1980s vehicles from. So we've got Airwolf, Kit from Night Rider, Street Hawk, and the Air Team Van. Uh, really cool thing, really like that, so I had to buy it. Um, this thing, this is just my training bag, so it's got my pads and it's got my black belt on. You can see there, officially done more second degree black belt. Work bag and a sofa that I basically just use for storage. Uh, need to get rid of it, really. This thing came with that Grogu figure. Oops. Get this out. So it's just like, like that. What? Okay. Where's that? I will put that up eventually. And then we've got um, Voltron, Pikachu. They stood on Thorn Watch in the expansion for Thorn Watch. Underneath the expansion is a surprisingly in depth Funko Verse game. I just dropped some of that on the there, got a Batman decanter full of whiskey, very good whiskey, very good decanter, a little mini arcade game, a C64 mini, which is really cool but the joystick is crap, uh, I've got my blade sword there, you can see at the bottom, uh, it's not a real sword, uh, but it's a very cool replica, and my little collection of Lego Mario sets, underneath there I've got an extra PC which you do need to get set up for a dual screen setup and a couple of extra monitors just in case. And then we've got where the magic happens. So my PS5 and its controllers, a couple of games. We've already played Spider-Man Miles Morales on the stream. So next after Halo Infinite, we're gonna be playing Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrated. Got a second monitor, which is actually a TV, it's 1080p TV, so it works well for as a monitor. Got my 24-inch 
gaming monitor. If you're wondering what these are, which are red when you have more than two. Not that I can do that anymore because it's not really a thing on YouTube. No midnight snacks. I'm really bad for that. Switch weapons when playing Fortnite, put UK at the start of the stream, and cod liver oil and ashwagahanda, which are these things. So if you're wondering why I take these, because I got so obsessed with getting better at Fortnite, I started taking supplements to be able to try and get better. I know my desk is not particularly tidy. Um, so that's what I do. Ashwagahanda is for anxiety, and the cod liver oil helps improve focus. And I did find it actually worked, but I don't know if that's placebo or not. So that's my PC. There. 2070 in there. It was pre-built. I didn't build it uh, myself because it was easier and cheaper to get one pre-built than it was to try and build it myself. Um, there's my certificate to confirm that I am in fact a second degree black belt. And... This is my Thundercats canvas, uh, my slightly wrong Thundercats canvas, so if you know why this canvas is wrong, comment below. i got a couple of other pictures there, some film stills of the Dinopots, and a card that needed to be framed because it says anyone can be cool, but awesome takes practice. And then William Falcon canvas, and some Lego Star Wars canvas. Yeah, that's my main monitor. Uh, 24, uh, sorry, 32 inch monitor, that. And then this is a camera I don't use as a camera, I use it as a spotlight. It's a Razer Kyo. Uh, and this bit here is actually a light. So I use it as a ring light to help illuminate my beautiful features. That's my actual camera that I use, which is a Logitech C930. And um, one of the best cameras you can get for streaming. My 10 keyless keyboard, mechanical keyboard. Um, it's only 40 quid with that. I'm very impressed with it. It was nice and cheap and works really well. So this controller right here controls that. So if I do that, see, I have to put it on auto. It just cycles through the colors. The other controller is for the TV. And I've got this controller for my, there you go, you see, like that, yep. And then my microphone is a Shure MV7, a uh, fantastic microphone. Um, I got, a, I started off with a second-hand Blue Yeti, which worked, but it had this weird whistle on it. Um, and no matter how much I messed about with the settings, I could not get rid of this whistle, so, yeah, and then I've got my mouse, which is a Razer Death Adder, the original one, I've had it for years, I'm actually getting a brand new mouse today, um, so, yeah, um, yeah, my desk is not the tidiest thing in the world, uh, if you're wondering why there's an inhaler there, it's mainly because I know where it is, so I know where it is, scissors are there for, um, unboxings, and then we've got one of my greatest purchases of all time, Secret Labs Titan Gaming Chair. Honestly, if you can afford it, get a Titan Gaming Chair. They are absolutely fantastic. Really, really comfy. One of the best investments I've ever made. Um, and then we've got some drawers here uh, with various bits of crap in it. So this is just my personal laptop. So I've got various bits in there. These are um, exercise bands, work headset, old watch, etc. etc. A few other bits. This is really useful headlamp, um, some tools for doing modeling and stuff, and a mat for doing modeling. And some paints are in there as well. Not that I do much painting. Ignore the em unemptied bin. And then that's where I keep the majority of my. Computer spares. So, yeah, put that back. So, yeah, if you're wondering what's in that chest where the Lego is, that's my other spares store. So, on there, there's a box in there full of spare bits of Lego and full of spare bits and instructions for my various transformers and figures and things. 
So, yeah, that is my stream setup. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell so you don't miss a video. And I'll see you on stream tonight when we're playing um, Halo Infinite's campaign for the second time. So it's part two of that. Um, oh, I forgot to mention my headset. My headset is a Logitech uh, headset absolutely fantastic um, headset really please I have a spare razor one that I won through a competition and yeah please uh, ignore all the dust I'm a really bad duster but yeah hope you enjoyed don't forget to comment on your favorite bits and anything that you want to see a bit more in depth on and I'll catch you on the stream tonight